Hello everybody, my name is Bruno Isaac Berry, readings from Brooklyn College. Today, I am here to ask you to fight for the rights and for the lives of both Muslims and Jews. Yesterday, on October 7th, 2023, the terrorist organization Hamas from Palestine attacked from the Gaza Strip. They attacked school children, young adults, the elderly. They kidnapped women and children and gunned down people as far as the eye could see. The scared school children are hiding in their homes. Young adults are running in the streets helplessly. They held this attack all because of religion. Hamas, ISIS, Taliban, so many other terrorist organizations believe that if you kill others on the other side, then you will go to heaven. No, you won't. You're going to go straight down to the boiler room of hell. In Islam, are you allowed to kill people? No. And especially in Islam, are you allowed to kill people in the name of God? No, no, no. As I am speaking right now, there are people being tortured. There are people being gunned down. There are people being forced to convert to Islam. And in fact, this is the largest attack that has happened since the beginnings of this ridiculous war 75 years ago. There are people seriously dying, being tortured. The casualty count is rising as I am speaking these words right now. And this is not just unique to Hamas. Both sides have been fighting and committing these crimes for years. And when will this stop? When will we finally be able to see these young people not go to war? These people who could have changed the world in some major aspect. From Israel, from the Southern Levant, there have been so many influential things, people, in fact, two of the largest religions hail from the Southern Levant. So now, why do we have to see one of the biggest birthplaces of humanity, humanity's cradle? Why do we have to see it torn apart by war? And this war is illogical as well. It's not being fought over resources or territory but it's being fought over the sovereignty of religions. And over two religions that are very similar, they are both monotheistic and are both Abrahamic religions, Judaism and Islam. As I have said, this war has been going on for 75 years, ever since the British colony of Palestine was freed in 1948. And it has continued to this very day. And both the Jews and Muslims have the rights to this land. It's mentioned as a holy land in both of their holy books, the Quran and the Torah. So I don't see why we have to fight over it. Jews and Muslims have come together in all the other places of the world to make one great big family. Why can't they manage to come together here? The last major religious war was fought in 1821. In fact, that wasn't f uh, completely fought over religion either. It was mainly for Greek, uh, Greece's independence over the Ottoman Empire, even though religion played a big part in it. But that was all the way back in 1821. That was 202 years ago. What are we doing here in this religious war other than touching some deadly relic from two centuries ago that will only drain more people from our world, more people who could have changed our world. I'm here today to ask, why are we doing this? Why are we fighting over this? And what can we do to change this? What can we do to bring rationality to the minds of these people who are fighting over each other for their own religion? What can we do to say, this land belongs to both of you? It does not belong to one or the other, because both of your religions originate Judaism was founded in the Levant. Christianity was founded in the Levant. And Islam was founded very close to the Southern Levant. They all have the rights to this land, and they have all declared this land holy. What can we do to stop this terror? What can we do to stop the terror of being gunned down by militants? What can we do to stop the terror of being gunned down by terrorists in the synagogue? What can we do to prevent the fear of being attacked by missiles? And what can we do to prevent the fear of being forcibly converted, being tortured? What can we do to 
to resolve this? And my answer is, look everywhere else in the world. As I said before, there were so many people getting along, getting over their differences. In fact, the country that I hail from, the United States of America, is the biggest example of this, where so many people from so many different cultures have all come together and brought their own thing to the table without arguing over whether others' cultures should be allowed. So we have come together in harmony in the United States, and that's over hundreds of different cultures. So, when it comes to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, can we decide to come together on such a small issue? Uh... Shut up.